Hey gentlemen, time to address another question about Bill Wealth products. Our slimline and our solo seats. The Biltwell Solo Seat is the wider and flatter of our two chopper seats for custom motorcycles. Its shape and size look best on big, rigid shovels, knuckles, and pan heads, in our opinion. Plenty of guys we know installed our Solo Seat on British and Japanese choppers, but we prefer our slimline seat on these smaller machines. In our eye, the slimline seat's higher rear kick flows really well on bikes with steep backbones and tight rear fenders. Machines like Mike D's Rigid Evo Sporty our solo seat features standard welded carriage bolts for mounting the hinge and springs. The distance between the spring bolts is 6 and 3 quarters inches or 171 millimeters. If you're installing our solo seat on a chopper with spring bungs already welded to the frame, make sure these bung centers are the same as the bolts on our solo seat. If they aren't, you'll need to move the bungs so your seat springs are both vertical and parallel. We designed our slimline seat with removable carriage bolts to make installation faster and easier. This feature lets you fine tune the mounting location of the rear springs so they match the distance between the bungs on your frame. Don't install a spring mounted solo seat on a Harley Softail or any bike with a swing arm. It looks a little strange in our opinion. Of course, practically any seat hinge will fit our solo and slimline seats, but we're partial to two models in our line. We're installing a cast stainless steel built well seat hinge on this slimline seat to demonstrate the function of our movable carriage bolt system. The raw steel bung on the seat hinge welds to the backbone of your frame behind the gas tank to create a solid mounting point for the nose of your seat. We hope these tips have answered some questions about our solo seats. If you need more information about Biltwell products, please visit our website or check out photo albums on our Facebook page.